Today, we're going to introduce you to Avico's high-end 8x8 HDMI video matrix switcher. This is a pro-level video distribution hub that can be used at home or in commercial applications. It has a ton of great features such as a web GUI, EDID management, awesome downscaling, ARC, CEC, and even audio extraction. Of course, it's going to be compatible with 4K60 devices, so they're great for live streaming and gaming. Let's quickly run through the physical features of the device, and then we'll get into some more nerdy details. Looking at the front, we have the input and output selection buttons. On the right over here, we have the six system buttons to navigate through the menu. This one in the lower right-hand corner is a lock button that you can use to disable the front panel in case the unit is located in an open area. Flipping over to the back, we have all the HDMI ports on the bottom. On the top, we have an IR extender port and then eight 3.5 millimeter aux ports for stereo audio. Next to that, we have eight digital coax ports that can be used for stereo or for 5.1 surround sound. There's a network port that gives you access to the web GUI so you can switch wirelessly, have CEC controls, and access the EDID system. And then there's this RS-232 port over here if you're a true power user. In the box, you'll get a remote control, IR extender, set of rack gears, RS-232 cable, and a power adapter, of course. The remote itself is a simple device that anybody can use. First, press the output that you want to switch to, and then the input that you want to select. You can also switch all outputs at the same time by pressing the All button and then the input that you want to show. One of the best features of this matrix is its ability to downscale. This is different than others in the market because it downscales at the output, whereas most downscale at the input. To say this in English, it means that you're always going to get the optimal resolution for each TV. Many other matrix switchers are going to downscale to the lowest common resolution, which is typically 1080p, so you only get 1080p even on your 4K TVs, which is no bueno. Let's go ahead and demonstrate it so it makes a little bit more sense. So over here we have a 4K 60 Xbox, and back here in the top corner we have two 1080p TVs. The other three are all 4K. Let's go ahead and switch over to our Xbox. And now we can look at the settings for the display here. And it's going to settings. In here, you can see that we have 4K. Now, we know the two in the corner are only getting 1080p because otherwise you'd see no screen because they're just not capable of displaying a 4K signal. So let's just go ahead and double check it and just show you guys. So here I can pull up the resolution on the small TVs and you can see it's 1080p. And then over here on our main display, we can pull up the resolution as well. And then here we have 4K. So with this matrix, you're always going to get the most optimal resolution for every display. And that's something that's not common in the market, which makes this a really standout device. One of the best ways to set up and control the matrix is with the web GUI. First, you'll need to connect the matrix to your network and let it register an IP from your router. On this model, you can find the IP address just by pressing the menu button three times. Then all you need to do is type in the IP address into the web browser and log in. Today, we're using an iPad, but you can use a computer or a phone. So we've launched Safari here, and then we type in our IP. And now we just log in through the main login system. And the first page here is the status page, which just has basic information like the model number, firmware, network settings, etc. Let's go over to the video tab. Now here on this tab, you can actually control the input and the output routings and make some presets. For the demo today, we made preset one do the Blu-ray here, on all of our TVs. Let's go ahead and trigger that and we'll confirm it. Now we're going to have Top Gun on all five TVs, 4K as well as 1080p. Now let's say you have family fun game night and you want to mix and match the routings. Let's do preset two here, which is going to put the Xbox on one side, the PlayStation on the other side, and then we're going to have the movie in the front for the parents. Now you can also do the EDID management right here from the web GUI, which is one of the big advantages. So if I go over here to the input, let's go through that with HDMI 1, which we have as our Xbox here. Okay, so you can see that we have it set for 4K60, but we know that 4K60 is not going to work for our two 1080p TVs. So what we need to do is downscale them. So we go to the output, and here you can see output 2 is downscaled to 1080, and then output 4 is downscaled to 1080. So if we go to our Xbox, we're getting the optimal resolution on each of the TVs. The web GUI also has CEC controls. So we'll go over here to that tab. We're actually going to cover this in another video, 
But CEC is a little more complicated. You want to make sure that it's turned on for all of the devices, and you want to make sure those devices are actually capable of receiving CEC controls. We also have a network settings tab, which is used for professional installation. And then we have a system tab where we can make some other generic system settings. As mentioned earlier, the matrix can easily extract audio from the video feed and reroute that audio to an AV receiver, soundbar, or maybe just some simple speakers. De-embedding is done automatically, and the audio signal is replicated to all three audio outputs, the auxiliary, digital coax, and the HDMI connection. If you're setting up an audio system with surround sound, you're either going to want to use a digital coax or one of the HDMI outputs. The Matrix does have art capabilities, but typically you're going to want to use the audio device to handle that de-embedding. All right, that's it for today's quick overview of the 8x8 Video Matrix. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or reach out to us at contact at Thanks and have a great day.